Effortless Arabic مرحبا في الوحدة الأولى الدرس الأول جسمي سوف نتعلم واحد مفردات اثنان أنا عندي ثلاثة كيف تقرأ مقطع مقطع أربعة الصوت القصير خمسة كيف تصنع جملة عن صورة ستة أكتب جملة عن صورة شعر شعر أنف أنف أذن أذن فم فم قدم قدم وجه وجه جسم جسم اثنان أنا عندي أنا عندي means I have but it is not I have to do something no it is I have something for example I have a mouth I have a leg I have a hand like this so how to make sentence with I have أنا عندي for example I have a mouth I eat with it the food or I eat the food with it so how to say it in Arabic first أنا عندي فم mouth means فم so you have to say أنا عندي فم آكل به الطعام آكل I eat به with it الطعام the food أنا عندي فم آكل به الطعام repeat after me أنا عندي فم آكل به الطعام perfect so let's make another sentence with أنا عندي what do you see here in this video? What is this picture? Yes, it is two feet, right? Two feet. So, what the meaning of feet in Arabic or foot, sorry, in Arabic? Foot means qadam, as we learn in the vocabulary app. Yes, qadam. How to say I have a foot? You have to say أنا عندي قدم I have a foot But these are two feet So we have to say أنا عندي قدمان As you see ألف النون قدمان for, for two You have to say قدمان Yes قدمان For dual أنا عندي قدمان I have two feet What else we will say? I go with it to anywhere mm. What the meaning of I go? أنا أذهب أذهب بها إلى أي مكان I go with it to anywhere Again, repeat after me 
انا عندي قدمان اذهب بها الى اي مكان Perfect. Let's make another sentence with "Ana عندي." What do you see here in the picture? Hmm. It's ear and two ears. What the meaning of ear in Arabic? Perfect. Perfect. Udun, udun. As we study up for the vocabulary, go check the vocabulary if you need. Udun means ear how to say i have ear yes it is ana indi udun but it's one ear now we have two as we remember we say ana indi udun an udunan ana indi udunan also we will add a and nun alif and nun for Two things or for dua. أنا عندي أذنان. I hear with it the sound of the alphabet. I will say أسمع. أسمع means I hear. أسمع بها صوت الحروف. I hear with it sound of the alphabets. So repeat after me. أنا عندي أذنان أسمع بها صوت الحروف حسنتم ثلاثة كيف تقرأ مقطع مقطع How to read part by part But today only we will learn short sound. But I will give you overview about it. So, to read any word, you need to know three things. To read any word in Arabic, you need to need to know three things. Very important things. First, الصوت القصير, the short sound. Second, الصوت الطويل, long sound. Third, المقطع الساكن, the silent part. Let's talk about it right now. أربعة, الصوت القصير, short sound. As we remember, to learn how to read any word in Arabic, you need three things. First, الصوت القصير, short sound. Second, الصوت الطويل, Long sound. Third, المقطع الساكن, silent part. So, here we are going to study only الصوت القصير, short sound. What is الصوت القصير? Let's talk about it. الصوت القصير, the short sound is any alphabet letter with فتحة, which is a sound. كسرة which is E sound ضمة which is O sound Let's now try to read this word and find out where is the short sound First letter in this word is DAL but it has A sound which is فتحة so we read it D D. D is short sound because it is alphabet letter with a. Second letter is R. R. Third letter is S because all has a a a. D. R. S. And this word is Darase. Darase. Now. This word has all short sound, so it's easy to read. De ra se dara se. Dara se means he studied. Yeah. Let's go for the second word. We are trying to read this word now. 
So this letter is sheen, but it has a sound as you see. It has a sound. So it will be sh. Second letter is ra, but it has e sound. So sh ri ri. Third letter is b, but it has b sound. It has a sound. So it will be b. Sha ri ba shariba. Let's go for this word also. First letter is kaf, but it has u sound, so it will be ku. Ku. Second letter is ta, but it has u sound, so it will be tu. Tu. Third letter is letter ba, but it has u sound, so it will be bu. Kutubu. So, darasa, shariba, kutubu. Khamsa, kaifa tunshi jumla? How to make sentence with picture? As you see in the picture, it is her. So, her means shar. My hair means shari, shari. If you want to talk about your hair, so you will say tawil, long. That's why we can say shari tawil. My hair is long. Shari tawil. Now, what do you see here in the foot? It is mouth. Perfect. So, what the meaning of mouth in Arabic? Go to the vocabulary, you will remember. Perfect. It's fam. My mouse, it will be fami. Fami. My mouse is small. Fami sagir. Fami sagir. Repeat after me. Fami sagir. Now, what do you see in the foot? Hmm, it is nose. What do I mean of nose in Arabic? Go to the vocabulary to remember. Perfect. Anf. How can I say my anf, my nose? It is anfi. My nose is small. Anfi sagira. Repeat after me. Anfi sagira. Now, what do you see in the foot? It is ear. What the meaning of ear in Arabic? Go to the vocabulary. Yes, it is udun. How can you say my udun? Udoni. My udun, my ear is small. It will be udoni sagira. Udoni sagira. Repeat after me. أذني صغيرة. What do you see here in the foot? Mm, it is foot. What the meaning of foot in Arabic? It is قدم. How can I say my قدم? قدمي. Perfect. How to make sentence? It depends. If it's big, say. قدمي كبيرة. My foot is big. If it's small, say قدمي صغيرة. My foot is small. Repeat after me. قدمي كبيرة. Here, what do you see in the foot? Mm, it is face. How to say face in Arabic? Perfect. Wajh. How to say my wajh? Wajhi. Can you make sentence? Yes. My face is beautiful is Wajhi Jamil. 
repeat after me Wajhi Jamil Here what do you see in the photo Yes it is body What the meaning of body Yes it is jism Jism means body How can you say my body It's easy now Jismi How can you say my body is big Jismi kabir Repeat after me Jismi kabir Sitta Uktub jumla an sura Write a sentence about a picture Okay now we will see how to write a sentence about these photos what do you see here in the photo this is a hand yes what the meaning of hand in arabic it's yad perfect so we will write aktub aktub which means i write biyadi with my hand fi Adaftar. I write with my hand in the copy book or the text book. Aktub biyadi fi adaftar. I write with my hand in the copy book. Asant. Second sentence. This is legs. Perfect. We will say and write it. Adhab. I go برجلي with my leg إلى أي مكان to everywhere أذهب برجلي إلى أي مكان أذهب برجلي إلى أي مكان means I go with my leg to anywhere copy it in the textbook here this is face. Face means wajh. So we will say, I wash my face every day. Aghsil, I wash. Wajhi, kulla yawm. I wash my face every day. We will repeat the three sentences again, then we will write it in the textbook. Aktub biyadi fi Adafter, I write with my hand in the copy book. Adhab birijli ila ayi makan. I go with my leg to everywhere or anywhere. Aghsil wajhi kulla yawm. I wash my face every day. Copy it in your copy book and practice how to make many of them.